Hello everyone, welcome back to my Makeup Inspired by Aesthetic series. This is part 4. Today we are doing Kid Core. This aesthetic is so fun. I literally love it. I say this for every aesthetic, but it's so colorful. It's so fun. So these are some pictures um, to show you what Kid Core is all about. Now from what I researched, it's all about memories from your childhood, being a kid, um, teddy bears, colorful beads the nostalgia of your childhood it's what it's all about from what i've seen don't quote me on that <laughs> for this tutorial i was inspired by two makeup looks um i'm gonna post them on the screen so these two makeup artists on instagram f.berman and olivia underscore underscore makeup did this like abstract butterfly look and I really love it, so I decided to do that for Kid Core because I feel like that would be part of Kid Core, you know, like butterflies and like, I don't know, it just looks like it'll match the aesthetic. So that is what I'm going to do, try to do, at least. It won't be as good as theirs, but I'll try. So let's get into the makeup look. So I did one eye off camera, so for the other eye, I'm going to take the Take Me Back to Brazil palette using this purple shade, and I am drawing like this like curve on my eyelid like this type of like half circle thing i don't know how to explain it but yeah so i'm drawing that i'm not so gifted in this so don't even come at me for if it's uneven or whatever okay plus it's an abstract butterfly so it's not supposed to be perfect anyway and now i'm just like making the line thicker then i went in with this pink shade and i use my finger first and i put that right there below the purple and then i went in with the brush i then added the pink also all over my eyelid i wanted to use a different color for my eyelid but i had tried that before and it didn't look good so i decided to just use the same pink all over my eyelid Now I'm just kind of blending the edges, but not blending it too much. That's why I'm using this small brush to blend. So this part was really easy and quick to do, but now I'm going to do my face makeup before finishing my eyes. It's the same products I use in every video, so I'm not going to show that. So now after I did my base makeup, I am doing the bottom part of this abstract butterfly. This is like the other part of the wing as you would call it so i'm doing another curve on the bottom of my eye but this time it's smaller curve no that's not the right word like a half circle oval thing i don't know how to explain it but you can see exactly what i'm doing so filling it in with the pink just like we did on our eyelid this part is out of focus, but I went in with these jewels from Amazon because I wanted to add more color to this eye look. Since it's just pink and purple, I wanted to add more colors to it. So I added these different colored jewels. I got some blue, some orange, some red, some purple, green, pink, yellow jewels. Then I went in with these new lashes I got from Ioni Lashes from the dollar store, literally $1 with my kiss lash adhesive glue this one is the best glue these lashes are called um xl wispy dramatic lashes i think they honestly are very pretty and not that dramatic tbh okay guys so i'm not done with the look i'm still gonna do my hair and put on um an outfit i have these cute butterfly clips I got from Amazon and I'm gonna put them all in my hair and it's gonna match my eye look and I'm so excited but before I do that I want to tell you what I did because like always my phone died so while I finished the rest of my makeup it was charging so I'm gonna tell you what I did while it was charging so I um, put on the lashes I added these 
bigger jewels in my inner corner. Um, what else I did? Oh, I added blush. It's actually not blush, it's an eyeshadow from this palette. The pink that we used on our eyes, I used on my cheeks with blush. A little bit on my nose, nothing crazy though. Um, because I can kind of go overboard with blush, so. And then, after I did the blush, you know, highlight, bronzer, or whatever, and I sprayed my face with Catrice Starting Spray, like always. Um, after I put on the lashes, I put on, um, mascara to blend my real lashes with my fake ones and I used this new mascara that I had bought it's the Maybelline Sky High Mascara you know if you're on TikTok you know this one has like blown up on there and it makes your lashes really long and stuff like that it's pretty good um I don't really think it's like amazing but I do love the wand it's pretty bendy too and I like skinny wands like this because I feel like it really gets like your lashes it makes them long and it makes my lashes pretty long and voluminous, so I do like it. So I use that to blend my natural lashes with the real, with the fake ones. And then for my lips, I used this ColourPop. It's really dirty. This ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Dream Date. It's like a nude, pinkish nude or something. I don't know. And then over top, I applied this gloss. It's from a brand called. Ashley Lee Cosmetics and it's like a pinkish gloss with like little glitters in it I don't know if you can see that but it's pretty you see so yeah I like that so that's what I did my hair looks really frizzy right now but I'm gonna finish the look that's basically the makeup though, so I hope you enjoyed the makeup. What do y'all think? So I'm done with the look. I put on some clothes and these pretty clips in my hair. My hair is frizzy, but it always is, okay? <laughs> but I still like it. I think it looks very kid core-ish. The best that I could make it kid core. Um, and I really love how the eye maker turned out at first, like, I was worried, but, like, kind of looks like a butterfly, right? Keep in mind I'm not an artist, and I just recently started doing, like, artisty type makeup. Um, all these past years I've been doing, like, normal makeup, like, glam looks. But, um, like, last year is when I started doing, like, more, like, artisty stuff artistic style makeup and like getting out of my comfort zone so please don't come for me but i try my best it's more of a um abstract butterfly look not an exact butterfly but anyway i think i look cute even with my frizzy hair thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video which i think will be the last part of my aesthetics inspired makeup so Keep on the lookout. Bye guys.